So, there is a very interesting thing coming out that Elon Musk files a lawsuit against the OpenAI and Sam Altman. From the Reuters article name, Elon Musk sues OpenAI for abandoning original mission for profit. They described that Musk's lawsuit alleges a breach of contract, saying Altman and co-founder Greg Brockman originally approached him to make an open-source, non-profit company, but the startup established in 2015 is now focused on making money. OpenAI's top executives rejected several claims that Musk made in his lawsuit. The crazy thing about this thing is, Elon Musk considered the GPT-4 as an AGI algorithm. So, this is the copy of the lawsuit which was filed by the Elon Musk to Sam Altman and the OpenAI. I am going to highlight the main parts of this lawsuit and trust me, this document contains information that is not known to many. And helps us to understand what actually going on inside the OpenAI. First section talks about the risk of AGI. Over the course of the 20th century, not only the United States but the whole world gradually shifted from a primarily human labor-based economy to a primarily human knowledge-based economy, with economic value increasingly created primarily by human intelligence. Mr. Musk has long recognized that AGI poses a grave threat to humanity. He says, our entire economy is based around the fact that humans work together and come up with the best solutions to a hard task. If a machine can solve nearly any task better than we can, that machine becomes more economically useful than we are. With strong AGI, the future doesn't need us. Which is actually a true or valid point. But where some like Mr. Musk see an existential threat in AGI, others see AGI as of profit and power. Now in the next section. The founding agreement of OpenAI. Mr. Altman purported to share Mr. Musk's concerns over the threat posed by AGI. In 2015, Mr. Altman wrote that the development of superhuman machine intelligence SMI is probably the greatest threat to the continued existence of humanity. Later that same year, Mr. Altman approached Mr. Musk with a proposal that they join forces to form a non-profit AI lab that would try to catch up to Google in the race for AGI, but it would be the opposite of Google. Together with Mr. Brockman, the three agreed that this new lab Mr. Musk named this new AI lab OpenAI, which would compete with, and serve as a vital counterbalance to, Google DeepMind in the race for AGI, but would do so to benefit humanity, not the shareholders of a private, for-profit company. From all these things, we can say that OpenAI starts as a non-profit open-source company. And the thing which most of us do not know is Microsoft license only applied to OpenAI pre-AGI technology. Microsoft obtained no rights to AGI and it was up to OpenAI, non-profit board, not Microsoft, to determine when OpenAI attained AGI. Now in the C section, we are getting some most important information about the AGI. As we know, in March 2023, OpenAI released its most powerful language model yet. GPT-4. GPT-4 is not just capable of reasoning. It is better at reasoning than average humans. It scored in the 90th percentile on the uniform bar exam for lawyer. 99th percentile on the grey verbal assessment. 77th percentile on the advanced sommelier examination. But the crazy thing about GPT-4 is, its internal design was kept and remains a complete secret except to open eye. There are no scientific publications describing the design of GPT-4. Instead, there are just press releases bragging about performance. Furthermore, on information and belief, GPT-4 is an AGI algorithm, and hence expressly outside the scope of Microsoft's September 2020 exclusive license with OpenAI. Moreover, on information and belief, OpenAI is currently developing a model known as QSTAR that has an even stronger claim to AGI. As noted, Microsoft only has rights to certain of OpenAI's pre-AGI technology. Elon Musk also show concerns over AGI falling into the wrong hands. Following this conversation with Mr. Hassabas, Elon Musk became increasingly concerned about the potential of AI to become super-intelligent, surpass human intelligence, and threaten humanity. Indeed, Mr. Musk was not the only person afraid about the dangers of AI in the research being conducted at DeepMind. It has been reported that following a meeting with Mr. Hassabas and investors in DeepMind, one of the investors remarked that the best thing he could have done for the human race was shoot Mr. Hassabas. Elon Musk also discussed concerns about the danger of AI with Larry Page, one of the Google's founder. But Elon Musk shock as Larry Page was unconcerned about it. At the end of 2013, Mr. Musk learned to his grave concern that Google was planning to acquire DeepMind. At the time, DeepMind was one of the most advanced AI companies in the industry. 
Thus, Mr. Musk was deeply concerned that DeepMind AI technology would be in the hands of someone who viewed it and its power so cavalierly and could hide its design and capabilities behind closed doors. 2015, Mr. Musk and President Obama had a meeting during which Mr. Musk explained the dangers of AI and advocated for regulation. Mr. Musk felt that President Obama understood the dangers of AI, but regulation never came. At this time, Mr. Altman was the president of Y Combinator, a startup accelerator in Silicon Valley. Mr. Altman appeared to share Mr. Musk's concerns surrounding AI. In public blog posts dating back to 2014, Mr. Altman stated that AGI, if made, would be the biggest development in technology ever. They also pointed out that there are many companies making strides towards achieving AGI, but acknowledged the unfortunate reality that the good ones are very secretive about it. And on May 2015, Mr. Altman emailed Mr. Musk, writing that he had been thinking a lot about whether it's possible to stop humanity from developing AI. I think the answer is almost definitely not. If it's going to happen, it seems like it would be good for someone other than Google to do it first. Mr. Altman had an idea that Y Combinator start a Manhattan project for AI. Unfortunately, it turns out that the Manhattan project is a moniker that may be all too apt. Reuters has reported that OpenAI is developing a secretive algorithm called QSTAR. While it is not clear what QSTAR is, Reuters has reported that several OpenAI staff members wrote a letter warning about the potential power of QSTAR. It appears QSTAR may now or in the future be a part of an even clearer and more striking example of artificial general intelligence that has been developed by OpenAI. And from all these information we are able to connect all the incidents happened in 2023. Like, on information and belief, Mr. Altman's firing was due in part to OpenAI breakthrough in realizing AGI. In fact, news reports suggested that there was a rift among OpenAI board members and executives regarding safety concerns and the potential threat posed by OpenAI Next Generation QSTAR. From this incident Satya Nadella comes into the picture. During an interview shortly after Mr. Altman firing, Mr. Nadella stated, We were very confident in our own ability. We have all the IP rights and all the capability. If OpenAI disappeared tomorrow, I do not want any customer of ours to be worried about it quite honestly. Because we have all of the rights to continue the innovation. Not just to serve the product, but we can go and just do what we were doing in partnership ourselves. We have the people, we have the compute, we have the data. We have everything. And we know that during the conference which held in Middle East. Mr. Altman is reportedly in discussions with Middle Eastern investors to raise up to $7 trillion in an effort to develop a global network of AI chip fabrication plants. If $10 billion from Microsoft was enough to get it a seat on the board, one can only imagine how much influence over OpenAI. Mr. Altman has been quoted discussing the possibility of making the United Arab Emirates a regulatory sandbox where AI technologies are tested. So, Hope this video helps you to get the insight about all the drama happening right now. And if you want more video based on latest AI development news you can subscribe our channel.